Hi there and welcome to Hegarty Maths. It's Mr. Arnold here and this is the first video on sequences. This video is a tutorial for A-level maths but is applicable to most other maths modules. Okay, so um, the nth term is a rule that we can use to find any term in a given sequence. So suppose we have um, some uh, nth term rule here which is 4n plus 5 and we're asked to write down the first five terms of the sequence um, u, of, u of n given for n greater than or equal to 1. So um, the first term or u of 1 is going to equal 4 times 1 plus 5 which equals 9. u of 2 will be 4 times 2 plus 5 4 times 2 is 8, 8 and 5 is 13. So just substituting different values of n in. So u of 3, the third term, is going to be 4 times 3 plus 5. Uh, 12 and 5 is um, 17. Uh, u of 4 is 4 times 4 plus 5. 16 and 5 is 21 and then finally the last one or the fifth term u of 5 will be 4 times 5 plus 5 which is 25. So we just substitute different values of n in. If I wanted to know what the 20th term is I would work out u of 20. Um, just substituting a value of n equal to 20 in. Okay let's have a look at a second example here. So again, we're going to write down the first five terms of the sequence given below. So u of 1 will be 1 minus 1 third. u of 2 will be 1 minus, well, 1 minus 1 third is 2 over 3. 1 minus 1 third times 2 which is 1 minus 2 thirds, which is 1 over 3. u of 3, 1 minus 1 over 3 times 3, which is 0. And we can see what's happening here. u of 4, 1 minus 1 over 3 times 4, which is going to give us negative 1 over 3. And then finally, u of 5, equals 1 minus 1 over 3 times 5 which is going to give us negative 2 over 3. So we just substitute values of n in um, to get the different terms in the sequence. Okay slightly different example here and we're asked to find the value for n for which u of n has a given value. So I need to work out well, what, what term of the sequence has uh, a value of 72. So what we do is we let we let the sequence n squared minus 7n plus 12 be equal to 72. Let's try that again. Be equal to 72. So let's see if we can solve for n. So we're going to get n squared minus 7n minus 60 equals 0. So Numbers that multiply to make negative 60 but add to make negative 7. So n, let's see, minus 12 and n plus 5 equals 0, which means that n must equal 12 or n equals negative 5. Now, obviously, we can't have the negative fifth term of the sequence, so we're not actually, actually interested in this. The answer is just n equals 12. So the 12th term of the sequence is going to give us an answer of 72. Okay, let's try uh, another example here. So we, we also have these things called recurrence relations. So when we know the rule to get from one term to the next, we can, we can produce what's called a recurrence relationship. So what this is saying here is that it tells me that to get, to get a term in the sequence, we do three times the term before and then we add one. And it tells me that the first term is 2. 
So we're asked to write down the first four terms of each sequence. Now, with a recurrence relationship, you must have a, a rule, but you must also be given the first term. It's vital that you're given that first term. So let's write down the first four terms. Well, u of 1 is given. It's 2. u of 2. Well, to get the next term of the sequence, we do 3 times the term before it, n minus 1, plus 1. So I'm going to do 3 times the term before it is 2, and I need to add 1. 3 times 2 is 6, 6 and 1 is 7. So that's u2. u of 3 is going to equal 3 times the term previous, which is 7. So 3 times 7 plus 1. Uh, 21 and 1 is <coughs> 22. And then one more. So the fourth term, u4, is going to be 3 times the term previous plus 1. 3 times 22 is 66. 66 plus 1 is 67. Lovely. And hence the first four terms of the sequence is written down. Okay. <coughs> So, similar question, write down the first four terms of the sequence. Um, so to get to u of n plus 1, to get to the next term, we need to do 1 take away 1 third times the previous term. So, u of 1 equals 6. Let's get u of 2. It's going to be 1 minus 1 third times the previous term, which is 6 and 1 minus 1 third times 6 is going to be 2 and 1 minus 2 is negative 1 negative 1 what about u of 3 it's going to be 1 minus 1 third times the previous term which is 1 so 1 minus 1 third is going to give us 2 over 3 and then one more. So u of 4, the next term equals 1 minus 1 third times the previous term, which is 2 over 3. And 1 third times 2 thirds is going to give us 2 over 9. So 1 minus 2 over 9 is going to give us 7 over 9. Okay, so now we're going to have one more example and then we'll finish up. Okay, so the nth term of a sequence, u of n, is given by u of n equals n times 2n plus k. And it tells us, given that, u of 6 equals twice u of 4 minus 2. Find the value of the constant k. Well, <clears throat> let's write down u of 6. u of 6 will equal 6 times 2 times 6. 2 times 6, which is 12, plus k. So 6 times 12 plus k, which is equal to... Um, 12 6 is our 72, 72 plus 6k. Well, we need to work out u of 4 as well. u of 4 is going to equal... So substituting where I have an n, I put in 4. 4 times 2 times 4 is 8 plus k, which equals 32 plus 4k. Now, it says here that u of 6 equals twice u of 4 minus 2. So, we need to set up this equation. Okay. So, 72 plus 6k must equal 2 times u of 4, which is 32 plus 4k. Minus 2. And now what we're going to do is we're going to solve this equation for k. Equals 2 lots of 32, 64, plus 8k minus 2. Okay, collecting everything with k's to one side, and we're going to get 
Um, well, that's 62 over here. I'm going to take 62 off both sides, which gives us 10 will equal 2k. And then that implies that k equals 5. So that's the first part done. k is 5. Now it says prove that for all values of n, u of n minus u of n minus 1 equals 4n plus 3. Well, let's write down the rule again. u of n, which equals um, n times 2n plus k. Times 2n plus k, and k is 5. So that's u of n. Let's write down u of n minus 1. So it's going to be, instead of an n, I have n minus 1. So I get n minus 1 times 2 times n minus 1 plus 5. It gives us n minus 1 times 2n um, minus 2 and then add 5, which gives us plus 3. Okay, so we've got u of n and u of n minus 1, and it tells us that if I subtract them, I should get 4n plus 3. Okay, so n times 2n plus 5, I need to take away from that all of this, which is n minus 1 times 2n plus 3. So we don't even need those brackets. Okay, so let's just tidy this up. <clears throat> so expanding this bracket, we get 2n squared plus 5n minus n times 2n is 2 n squared. n times 3 is going to be 3n and then negative 1 times 2 is going to give us negative 2 so that's going to give us a total of 1 so minus n and then minus 1 times positive 3 is going to give us minus 3 minus 3 times a negative is going to give us a plus 3 and let's tidy this up. We can see that the 2n squareds cancel and then we get left with um, 4n plus 3, which is exactly what we were looking for. 4n plus 3. Lovely. Okay, that's it for this video. Hopefully you found it useful. I'll be back again with another video soon. All the best and good luck with the revision.